on this Easter Sunday morning, specifically at church while ago, I was just thinking about belief in the resurrection of Jesus Christ and how many people struggle with that. All of us do or have struggled with it because there is a liar and a lying spirit that cast doubt upon the Word of God. That's been his ploy from the beginning with Adam and Eve. He said to them, has God said you can't eat of this tree? Causing people to question the Word of God. However, the book of Romans, Romans chapter 10, and Romans is such a great book on the resurrection. But Romans chapter 10 says, for with the heart, uh, it says, if you will confess with your mouth, verse 13, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto salvation, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I think I misquoted that. With the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. There's something, I don't totally understand this, but I know this. Faith is a gift of God. You can't have it without Him. Unbelief is from a lying spirit, causing us to doubt the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the Word of God. So there's something that takes place between us and God when we want to believe but struggle believing, but we with our mouth confess what the Word of God says. God ignites faith. And that gift of God is sparked in us and faith is a seed once planted it grows and matures into a tree of life jesus taught and so if you today struggle with the resurrection of jesus but you want salvation you want what jesus bled and died and paid for for you on the cross then i encourage you just to meditate think on what god said and simply say, Lord, I believe, but like the man who was bringing his son to you for deliverance, help thou mine unbelief. There's a part of me that doesn't want to believe. It struggles with belief, but I choose to believe you, and I believe God raised Jesus from the dead. And say it with your mouth. God's going to do a work in your life. You're going to find him. He's going to come into you and breathe that life and that faith into you. And salvation will be yours. Salvation that was paid for by the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ when he shed his blood for you with you on his mind while he was on the cross. God bless you. Salvation to you and shalom to you.